right today we're gonna do a disassemble and reassemble on the Remington 870 Tech 14 14 inch barrel 4 plus 1 I'll explain to you with that in the end of the video but we're gonna straight get into it oh before we get into it I don't promote violence just awareness and whatever and the most important thing about any weapon is safety and whatever you think you know about it you don't know about it keep that in mind always make sure any weapon you use is always clear from the chamber let's get into it very right home shit beauty baby yes lord as you know i already don't check to make sure i'm empty in the chamber, I ain't nothing in them. So we're gonna go ahead and get with the, the disassembly. So you're gonna need your pen and you're gonna need your a hammer. And what you're gonna use, you're gonna hit these two pins right here to remove this lower trigger receiver. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and move it from the top. Now this right here be considered legally a pistol, but it's a shotgun, whole 12 round shotguns, all kind of shells. But it's considered a pistol though. 14 inches make it legal. All we know your gun laws. We'll talk about that in another blog. So let's get to it. Pull back. She unscrewed it. Take your finger, put it inside the tool. You're gonna have to know what I'm Feel it till it come off with a spring. This your loading spring. We're gonna remove the barrel. another component inside of which that gonna be your holder your loader holder move to the fore you can see off camera you gonna have to you gonna have to twist for it to get off the groove I'm gonna have to push that forward. Definitely gonna need you one of these. I always make sure you get you a clean kit. That's most important always to have. I'm gonna explain to you two things what they are between the oil and what cleans off and over the carpet. That's that you use between your barrel, lower trigger receiver, your boat, and your boat carrier. You always want to make sure that clean. We're going to get to that too later in the video. This is your holder. This is your loading holder. Put it to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bottom end in a second. Soon we take these pins out. Take the pin. Two, two bolts, put between hammer, which I'm gonna pull off, say what you put between your legs to do that so you don't have to worry about uh, hitting your front the platform.
These are two pins that hold the lower trigger receiver in place. You got a total of 14 components that's on this on this shotgun. So once you remove that, you should be able to remove the trigger lower receiver. Before we do that, inside you have your holding rail. Let me show you. You got your holding rails right here. You're going to push them inside stuff so you can remove your loader. Your loading tool. My bad. Your lower receiver, trigger receiver, put that to the side. Now we're gonna remove this. Like I said, two pin, it's two bar rails. That will hold it and put it on. You remove that, put that to the side. What you have right here, you have your boat and your boat carrier. You just now reassemble your whole shotgun the Tate 14 Remington 870, Tate 14, 14 inch barrel, you know, five, four plus one. That's how I tell you in the video what that is. So You'll need your toothbrush. I definitely like Q-tips. Q-tips are very good for cleaning. So, what you'll want to do is you'll take, when I was talking about the products, come on. Oops, they pretty good. What this does is clean all the carbon that you shoot from your gun, which is, I mean, your weapon. It'll be like, you know, it's gunpowder. That's what that is. You'll clean your barrel. So, I ain't gonna clean mine because I already had on then clean my, I already had clean it. So you'll clean the barrel. Inside you'll just pour it down here, let it soak for a little bit, get it real good. Put that to the side. You'll do the same thing with your frying pan, with your boat. You'll do the same thing, you'll clean it all inside. Let that sit. Same thing with your boat carrier. You don't have to do that with this, but on the side of the rail, what you'll do is you'll wipe that off, get you a cloth. I suggest get you a fiber cloth. I don't have one in the video. Now wipe the side of the rail. You wipe them real good. You can also put the same thing clean, make sure you don't have any carbon from that gunpowder. Your lower trigger receiver. You'll do the same thing, but you don't you don't have to do as much. You'll just get you a little cloth. Just wipe down. Just wipe down. Do the same thing. But you'll definitely let these two that sit sitting in this product this as well inside your inside your barrel you're going to clean that then once it don't set for a while you know, you'll take your cloth and clean it but what i do is you know what i'm saying like you get your napkin but well, it work real good i already got one already on you stick it down your barrel Light on. Get you one. It come, it come with the kit. If you get one, it's, it's for cleaning all your rifle, shotgun, handgun, any weapon you have. Stick it down the barrel. Just run it down like that. Clean it, clean it until you see it's clean. Like you see all that fibers inside from all the rounds you don't shot with the gunpowder. That's what carbon carbon is. Is ain't no more gunpowder. But I don't know if you can see mine real good with the lighting. But it looks smooth like butter, baby. Oh. And you'll do this, you'll do that with products. Now your upper receiver, you'll do the same thing. You definitely want to you definitely want to clean inside here. You want to get all that stuff with the same, the same, the same material. 
So I ain't gonna tell you. Let it soak a little bit. And once you're done, let it soak for probably about three, four minutes. And then, you know, you just want to dry that out. Dry it out. You just clean all that carbs that, you know, from frying all your weapons, which is gunpowder. Now, this part, you want to do this dry. This is your loading, your loading tool. You know, this is where your, your magazines, your rounds go in. Sometimes there's more people having trouble, you know, getting off their rounds, loading, or it seems like you, you should never really jam. But if you have that issue, you just need to be clean. You'll do that dry. Don't put no product in your loading tool barrel. None. Just run, just on um, same, same method. Put it in here, but do it dry. Don't put no products in this one at all. So I should have said in this video, this is a disassemble, reassemble, cleaning, all in one. And, um, the video would have been very short if I was doing it uh this is not saying disassemble and reassemble. So same way you take it apart, you put it back the same way. It ain't gonna take long to do that. So I'm gonna show you. Um, once you have your your boat, boat, I mean boat carrier, boat clean, as you know, putting on saying your products in there and clean it off, make sure all that cleaned up real good. So we're gonna put we're gonna put we're gonna put this bad boy back together. Oh yeah. Skipping the lower trigger receiver, you will take your finger where it's not in a uh, safety, which would be on the Remington, but most most shotgun pretty much the same. Release and what you're doing right there is make sure you have no access carb that's in here between the, the firing pin, and then from Remington, the manufacturer it say put a little. Drop of oil right there, just rubbing in the spring. What you'll do, you'll push this back to it's in place, and you just put a slight, slight oil right here, like a little drop. You know what I mean? That'll be that. Now, I'm not gonna do it in this video because I already don't have mine. So, um, drop there, drop right though, slight drop. I'm afraid that slight drop here and just put oil right there. Nothing else. Before you do all that, do the oil. Make sure you clean the lower trigger receiver. Make sure you clean all the way around in here, just like I showed you. Pull the trigger. You can hold the finger back when you pull it. So it don't pop back. Make sure you clean up in here. Wipe all the way around here. If you don't have excess card from no firing off your weapon, shooting a lot of rounds. And you're done. You close that back, just like that. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna reassemble, something, put it back together. Take trigger, should be easy to go back in. So you're taking the lower receiver, put it back in place with the upper receiver. It should hit that back, that back groove back though. But like I told you, there's 14 components in all with it. Your spring, your, you know, you have your, your lower trigger, which I just put back in. Your lower holder, place, squeeze, bolt, bolt carrier, pin. All right, so let's put these bolts back in. Make sure it's lined up too when you put it in. I tell you, boy, when you be on video, boy, I swear everything, boy, somebody take long, you be kind of slight nervous, people watching. I don't mean on done this, boy. All right, boy, let's see. Gotta make sure you line up in them grooves. Put that Q-tip right there because I don't want to damage my no my frame. 
I'm bougie like that. So we got the lower trigger receiver back in. Now we're going to do it. We're going to put back the end gauge back on here with the receiver. So I'm move that to the side for a moment. Remember what I tell you about the rail. You take the bolt carrier, you line it up in twin grooves. Just like this, huh? You might have spread it a little bit. You're gonna, you're gonna know when it's holding place. And you're gonna get the bolt carrier. You're gonna get the bolt. Just the bolt carrier. Yeah, put it this way, huh? So I make sure it ain't. It ain't. Cause you can put it in backwards. Cause it's always be on the opposite side of the gauge. The pump gun, you hear? This way, yeah. So, remember, them, them rails I had to take it off. I gotta do the exact same thing to put it back in. You gotta push them inside, it's the inside. Well, you know you're right, so you'll take your butt to the side. Yeah, so, yeah, so, we got that little part back in. Oh, yeah, so, but I'm surgical with this thing here. Don't please, don't, yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna take the the upper no barrel and put it back in as well. Yeah, here. Halfway part, not too much. Just enough to get the barrel back on though. Put it in place. It's in groove. Put that back down. So I take my spring. Put that back in. The... Oh, no, no, no. Moving too fast, grasshopper. Put my holder back in. You know what I'm saying? My loader holder back in. <laughs> but when you put this in, you got, it's like some grooves. You want to put it exactly how it lined up. I tell you, I tell you. When don't nothing go like butter, man. Making a video longer, but you know I try to keep my video short and small. I should just That didn't go like butter. I'm trying to put that back in there, man. I tell you. Oh, 
Lord. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna edit it. I'm gonna do it just like how they keep my, I'm keeping my foot. It's crazy. All right, back in motion. So once you got that in there, take the spring. I mean, my video's so much longer, man. I had, I had, you, know, I, you know I don't practice thing, man, a couple times if I don't did it, though. Stick this in there. Turn to turn with your finger to that lock. Like that. That's how it is. Put the cap back on. This ain't gotta be real tight, it gotta be snug tight. Just like how you if anybody ever change the oil when you put that boat, gotta be snug. You ain't gotta be no extra strength in. Just with your finger. That's it. About three, three more men wasted on no technicality. But uh, most important thing, uh, dedicates hard work, pays off no love, power, grade, and guy. If you ain't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, and definitely share the video. So that's the only way I'm gonna elevate my channel, man. Y'all share these shady videos. Y'all give some comments, man. Like or dislike. It don't make me, man. Either Tell me what you thought about the video. And that's how you disassemble and reassemble. Yeah. We got some other North Saint stuff coming to the channel. Oh, shout out to shout out to all the, um, the sponsors. Um LTLGs, VOMP, Twilight Zone, Penny Pension, Heavy Duty. Appreciate you. And uh see y'all in the next blog.